Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today I will be going over on how to upgrade your laptop RAM and SSD storage. The laptop that I will be using to demonstrate this is the Gigabyte Aero 16 XE5 laptop. For this particular laptop, you will need a Torx number 6 bit to remove all the outer screws on the back, a tiny Phillips screw bit to remove the SSD, and a spudger, preferably a plastic one or something thin to pry the laptop open with. I recommend picking up a PC building toolkit, the one that I have here I got off Amazon and if you want to get the same exact one I will leave a link in the description. This comes with everything that you will need to get this job done. Now before we start make sure that you have the correct SSD and RAM for your laptop. Since we are upgrading a laptop we are going to need the SODOM RAM. Now for the storage this laptop uses two M.2 NVMe SSDs. Also make sure you are getting the supported RAM. This laptop supports the latest DDR5 memory. If you don't know what type of RAM your laptop needs, make sure you do a quick Google search on your laptop. Now, if you want to know how many slots are available for RAM, you can go ahead and head to the task manager and click on performance, then click on memory. From there, you will see the form factor listed as well as how many slots of RAM the laptop has available. So for this upgrade, I went with the Corsair Vengeance DDR5 32GB kit that is clocked at 4800 megahertz and for my extra storage i went with a 2 terabyte m.2 from crucial so for this i recommend doing it on a clean surface maybe on top of a mouse pad so it doesn't scratch up your laptop luckily this laptop came with a large microfiber cloth and i'll just be resting the laptop on top of that so this has 10 outer screws and two inner screws that you will need to remove the two inner ones have a little black sticker over it i believe this is for warranty reasons uh, once you break that little seal they'll know that you got into the laptop as long as you're not worried about the warranty then you should be fine but if you are worried about the warranty then i don't recommend getting in there once you have removed all the screws make sure you have a good place to keep them so you don't lose them this kit comes with a little magnetic tray to hold the screws so it's perfect inside this toolkit there will also be a thin plastic pry tool you will need to slide the thin edge in between the gaps and gently run it across. You will hear some subtle pops of the little tabs disengaging. Once you get a big enough gap, you can pull the back cover off. Make sure to take your time on this and always double check that you got all the screws out to avoid damaging the cover or scratching your laptop. Inside the cover, you will notice a blue thermal pad on each end and this helps dissipate the heat from the SSD. So if this accidentally comes off, just make sure you put it back in its place. So this is what the inside will look like. The main SSD is located on the left side here and this is where Windows boots from. Do not replace this one unless you have already cloned the drive to the new one you are installing. Before removing the RAM and SSD, let's go ahead and unplug the battery just to be safe. To unplug this, just gently wiggle this part here and make sure you do not pull from the wires to prevent any damages. Using your fingernails to gently pull it back from this part works great. So the SSD that you are going to want to upgrade is the one on the right side and that is the second slot. Simply remove the Phillips screw and the drive will pop up at an angle and you can gently pull it out. If there's no SSD in there then you don't need to worry about removing it. Just simply remove the screw. Now grab your M.2 SSD and insert it at a 45 degree angle. Now the orientation you're going to want to have this at is with the gap closer to the right side. Once it's fully inserted, you will feel a click and you can now lower it until it sits on this post and you can now screw in the Phillips screw and you are done with that. Now moving on to the RAM. On this laptop, the RAM will be located on the top here and this is using two sticks each at 8GB so I went ahead and bought a two pack each of 16GB totaling 32GB. To remove the RAM, just simply push the silver clips out to the side and it will unlatch it, releasing it at an angle. You can then gently pull it out. Now if your RAM has thermal pads, I recommend reusing them on your new RAM or buying a new pack to replace them with. If the thermal pad is too thick, then this will not let the little arms close since the RAM will be too thick. You can always install the RAM without the thermal pads, but it's best to use them since this will help the RAM stay cool. Now go ahead and insert the RAM at a slight angle and make sure that the slot in the middle lines up and gently push it in. You will hear a soft click and once you hear that click you can go ahead and push it down. The little arms will automatically lock into place but if it doesn't just push the little arms back into place to hold the RAM down. If you're having trouble with this it might be because the thermal pad is too thick so I recommend buying some thinner thermal pads. If I were you I would go ahead and buy them beforehand just in case. The second RAM slot did not automatically pop up because the thermal pad underneath it was keeping it down and if this happens to you, just gently pull it up. 
On this one, the thermal pad stayed on the board and it was a little wrinkled up, so I went ahead and reapplied it so that it laid flat. Now the last thing to do here is to plug the battery back in. Once you verify that everything is okay, let's go ahead and put the back cover on. So gently push down on the sides with your finger until you hear the tabs click into place and when there are no visible gaps around the sides of the laptop. If you forgot where the screws go, on this Aero 16 laptop, the shorter screws go in the very front and the longer ones will go on the sides, back and the middle. Now let's go ahead and turn on the laptop and this should automatically boot right into Windows. Once you're logged in, you will notice that your SSD will not show up, so let's go ahead and fix that. On the search bar, type create and format partition and click on that. You will get an automatic prompt letting you know that you will need to initialize the drive, so go ahead and click OK. Now hover to disk 1 or the drive that reads unallocated and right click on it. On the small menu that pops up, select new simple volume. This will give you a new prompt and click next, then click next again. You can now assign any letter to the drive that you want. I will assign my drive a V for video footage. You can assign it a G for games or whatever you like. Now click next. And from here you can label your drive under volume label. When you are done, click next and then click on finish and your new drive will pop up. So go ahead and click on that. And now you will be able to see your new storage. Now, if you forgot to name your drive, don't worry, you can name it from here. Just right click on it and then click rename and give it a name. Now, if you want to verify that both your RAM sticks were detected, let's go ahead and head over to the task manager again. Click on performance, then click on memory, and then we should be able to see the new size available. And it should say two out of two under the slot you used. Alright, so that does it for today's video. I hope this video helps you on upgrading your RAM and SSD to add life to your laptop or just to simply make it faster and better. I will be making a full review on this laptop in about a month, so let me know if you have any questions and feel free to drop a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech videos and I will talk to you on the next one.